Hey, happy Tuesday. Deuteronomy 6, verses 6 and 7. These words that I am giving you today are to be in your heart. Repeat them to your children. Talk about them when you sit in your house and when you walk along the road and when you lie down and when you get up. As I mentioned, this is part of uh, the Shema that, that the, the Jewish people, God's people, would repeat each day. Uh, it begins with verse, verse 4 and 5. It says, Listen, Israel, the Lord our God, the Lord is one. Love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your strength. See, that's verses 4 and 5 that precede our verses 6 and 7. Know these words and more. You see, as God is giving these words to his people, he's about to give to them the whole covenant law. It's, it's a Jewish prayer ritual every morning and night that they recite certain of these verses. And verses 4 and 5 are, are two of those verses that the Lord your God, the Lord alone is God. The Lord is one. Love Him with all your heart and soul and strength. See, the Jewish people, they would, they would, be, um, they would be very meticulous about reciting this in the morning and reciting it in the evening and it would be the first thing that they would teach to their children it can be translated as i said a moment ago the lord is our lord the lord alone is our lord you see god speaks and expects us to listen the lord expects us to know his word the lord expects us to teach his word to our kids See, I believe the expectation uh, to teach our kids uh, is, is something that God wants as we pass not just our faith on to each generation. Why? Why should we teach our kids these words or the word of God? Because it's good for us. That's what we've talked about. When we were talking about the Second Timothy passage, it's good for teaching and reproof and correction. And training. We should also share God's word with others. We're to repeat God's words to others. We're, we're to share it with the people we come in contact, people we care about, even just casual acquaintances. See, when God shared these words through the prophet Moses to his people, he said, these words that I am giving you today are to be in your heart. Repeat them to your children. Talk about them when you sit in your house and when you walk along the road and when you lie down and when you get up. I'm not sure that he meant us to do those things literally like that. He just meant for us to always be in his word. See you next time.